Hello once again and welcome to our live show on this Monday. I'm Cheryl Miller. You know, we have many choices when it comes to food and for many people, choosing to not eat meat is an option. The annual Richmond Vegetarian Festival is coming up this weekend. It's on Saturday and they're gearing up for a great day of food, fun and education at the Azalea Gardens at Bryan Park. Ben Burkoff is one of the participating vendors and is here with us today to make a delicious salad. Good morning, Chef Good Ben. Good morning. Good to see you. This is a beautiful array of fresh ingredients, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about the ingredients actually. So everything here and you can see it's kind of like there's all these blueberries, this peach, this tomato. Everything comes from the birdhouse market in, uh, in Richmond. So, so locally the, sourced. Right. It's locally sourced uh, and it's re all this stuff is really fresh right now and very, you know, uh, vibrant. Mm -hmm. Very vibrant. <laughs> I like that. Uh, can you tell us that you're making a panzanella. What's the background on this salad itself? Uh, it comes from Tuscany, from what I read, and it's sort of like a, a lunch that people would bring with them and make in the morning. So you would have some leftover bread, and uh, you would just tear it up and put tomatoes and onions. That's like the classic thing. Mm -hmm. And the water from the tomatoes, and maybe you might add some vinegar or even water or something to rehydrate it, would uh, make the dressing. It's basically like crouton salad, like salad <laughs> oh, with no lettuce. Some people are just like salivating now. You said crouton salad. Yeah, that's why I love it so much. <laughs> and is it one of those salads that you say, because as the day goes on, it starts to taste better. Is this oil here? Yeah, I have a good amount of olive oil in the pan. And I'm just going to throw this bread in and some scallions too. So as the day goes on, does it kind of get better in flavor because it's sitting there? Yeah, the flavor gets bitter, but the, there's like a fine line where the bread gets a little too soggy and starts to get... So for this one especially, I think you want to dress it and give it like five minutes to soak up. Okay. And then, and then eat it and it's Because perfect. it's a texture issue. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay. The flavor is great though. Um, so, okay, we've got bread. What kind of bread are you using? It's brown bread. Yeah, this is a rye bread from Sub Rosa Bakery in Church Hill. Mm -hmm. And you can get that at the Birdhouse Market too. Which I should say too, it's tomorrow, Tuesday is from 3 to 6 30. Um, and it's a really beautiful spot too. That's a uh, lot of scallions. That's a lot, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be oniony. It okay. smells very oniony. It smells very good. Um, and yeah, the bread you can get at that market too, or in Churchill at the bakery, which is on Jefferson and 25th. Mm -hmm. So that would cook for how long? This is going to be pretty fast. It's like three or four minutes. Okay. Um, I was hoping I would, I would have it done in time, but I might not. Yeah, in TV time, we'll just start right, TV layering time. Okay. it. Yeah, we so don't we have could, three or four minutes yeah. TV time. So okay, what's the so next thing? The next thing is take your tomato. This could even be the very first thing at home because you want to salt the tomato so the water starts to come out because that's going to be your dressing. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the peaches in here too. And I'm going to put blueberries, which is a very controversial ingredient. Why is that Here in this salad. Well, I think because the original salad is uh, just onion and tomato. Ah. When you start messing around with it, there are some purists who might not like blueberries in their pens. I would, so in a conservative home, don't put blueberries. Um, but here on this show, I think we can do it. Right. Now, this is going to be your first time at the, the Vegetarian Festival on Saturday, right? Yeah. So what are you going to be preparing out there? Uh, I'm going to make dosas, which is kind of a, it's like an Indian uh, rice pancake. Mm, that sounds they're really like, good. They're like crepes. Mm -hmm. but, uh, okay. And you just put what in there? Is that garlic? Those are uh, lemons oh. that I, uh, they're called preserved lemons. So you oh, just. Oh, yeah. Those are good. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really good. And I'm going to tear this basil in here. Cilantro, cilantro, I'm just going to cut uh, in like one inch pieces. So rough chop. Mm -hmm. Now, is this going to make one serving or serving for the family here? I would say this is two. I think oh, okay. two people could, could eat this. And what are the spices that you have here? This is uh, a red chili flake. So we'll put a little of that too. And so this is gonna we're gonna brown this on all sides or yeah this is almost good now like you can we can brown the other side too mm -hmm. and the onions some of the onions in the middle are getting brown there and for putting it all together does all that oil go in there with it or yeah all oh, the oil's okay. gonna go in because the oil too is just the dressing and kind of the 
maybe the, the water or the, the wet part of the dressing is the tomato juice and the peach juice that comes out of those peaches. And then this is like the salad dressing oil. And it's been infused with the scallions. Yeah, exactly. So that's delicious. Right. And we've got a finished product here, and that looks absolutely beautiful. So you're going to pour the, the bread and the oil and the onions in that and dress mm -hmm. it and then just toss it? Yeah, I'm, we can do it right now. If I okay. had a big enough bowl, this would be a lot easier. But <laughs> And do you serve that hot or do you let it come to room temperature? Uh, you could do either one. I think if we wait five minutes or ten minutes, it would be perfect. And then you could serve it all day. Um, you know, like I said, there's that sogginess kind of factor, but um, it's good for at least a couple hours. Well, and that it's really good room delicious. temperature, too. Thank you so much for coming in. And then you go ahead and toss it when oh, I tell sure. people about the annual vegetarian festival. It is this Saturday, June 24th, noon to 6 in the Azalea Gardens at Bryan Park. Admission is absolutely free. Our good friend meteorologist Mike Goldberg will be master of ceremonies as he is every year. We've got a link to more information at WTVR.com slash VTM. Chef, thank you so much and good luck with your yeah. first vegetarian festival this Saturday. Thanks, you did a great job with the recipe. Thanks.